the medical watch, creating better outcomes for cancer patients. And medical reporter Dina Bear has more on the changing definition of survivorship and how it could affect cancer therapy. They say the moment of a cancer diagnosis, a patient becomes a survivor. But what does that really mean? Across the country, a new effort to help people survive their often toxic therapy with a different focus, a team of physicians to tackle both the disease and the body's overall health. A new study reveals chemotherapy and radiation treatment are not enough. So armed with a new plan, cancer doctors are not just prolonging life, they're extending a good life. We talked about the left side of the left Heart. Kenesha Broadwater had cancer in her breast, but today at Northwestern Medicine's cancer survivorship visit, they're looking closely at her heart. It's not just curing the patient and moving on to the next one, but kind of following them through their course and the trajectory in the cancer journey. Breast cancer survivors can have issues with bone strength as well, requiring added vitamin D and calcium. They definitely kind of help manage any kind of long-term effects from treatment. Um, I like it specifically because the practitioners here not only know you, but they know you through the lens of your cancer treatment. The extensive treatment for the 45-year-old stage 3 ductal carcinoma included chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation after a diagnosis that brought a great deal of fear, which adds stress to the body and heart. Honestly, my first concern was I'd have to go home and tell my parents that I had cancer, and that was a little bit much because my parents are aging. As she ages, she knows the value of focusing on her life beyond cancer, and that includes follow-up. They know exactly what chemo I've had. They know the effects that that can have on your long-term health. They know how different things in your life can affect those treatment effects, you know? So, you know, during our visit, we talk a lot about cardiac health because of one of the chemos that I did receive. And so we talk at length about what type of exercise that I'm doing. Is it cardio? Is it strength training? You know, those sorts of things to really kind of map out a very specific logistical plan on how to deal with those side effects. At City of Hope, the philosophy is to consider side effects even before treatment begins. Researchers launched a study with older patients, some who got standard care, the other half a bit of a boost of care. Now that we're able to potentially identify patients who are at risk for toxicity from treatment, uh, how can we potentially minimize that risk? Whatever vulnerabilities that were identified, we then intervened. So we had a group of various different types of specialists, including an oncologist, uh, nurse practitioner, social worker, physical therapists, occupational therapists, pharmacists, identify some of the areas where there might be needs and then made recommendations. In prior studies, patients who got less chemo felt better, but potentially did not get the knockout punch to their cancer. In this study, patients got the full dose of drugs, but they got whole body care, and that made the difference. 10% fewer side effects and long-term complications. They lasted longer in treatment while boosting their chance for survival. We're basically saying that, you know, we can support you through whatever chemotherapy you're getting, and by doing that, we can actually alleviate a lot of the toxic uh, side effects of chemo that you might get. In the era of precision cancer medicine targeting tumors, this approach has a different target. This is really a more patient-centric uh, approach of precision medicine that really allows us to detect each patient's uh, own vulnerabilities and thereby allowing us to better effectively care for all of our older adults. Ultimately, it's again helping them to not only live longer but also to live uh you know really better it's great so far <laughs> the survivorship concept is catching on across the country at city of hope they believe their multidisciplinary approach will work for younger patients as well if you or someone you love is diagnosed with cancer seek out an oncologist and a specialist in survivorship back to you